Hello Christians, this is Kamala. I feel like it's time that I give some of my truth of my testimony in Jesus Christ, my Savior, my Lord and Savior. Every word of God is true. The first time something supernatural happened to me, I was three years old and I heard the voice of God. And he said to me, child, I have chosen you to be a warrior in this world, in the battle of good against evil. That's what I heard. That's the truth of my testimony. At the time, I didn't know what it meant. I didn't even really give it a second thought. But 60 years later, as I reflect on it, I can still hear it clear as day. That's something supernatural that happened to me. Later, when I struggled with my own demons of addiction, abandonment, codependency, I was on my knees praying to God, and I heard music coming from outside, above, somewhere. I looked out the window. There was no band. There was no symphony. There was no orchestra. I looked at the people that were outside walking around, and nobody else looked as though they were hearing it. And I'm telling you, it was the most beautiful music I've ever heard in my life. I can't even describe it. It was like the most beautiful orchestra, symphony, band put together in one. There were no voices singing, but it was the most beautiful music I'd ever heard. That's the truth of my testimony. Now on that one, I could be wrong that there was some music playing somewhere and I just couldn't pinpoint it, but I don't think so. Now, another one, supernatural. I was praying for God to please give me any weapon I needed to battle evil. I would slay as many demons as he wanted. And I was basically speaking of my own. And in my mind, I was picturing a trident because I had recently returned from India and had almost been seduced by Hinduism again. I will have to say my father was a Hindu Brahmin and I was raised in that household. So when I was picturing that trident, a voice came to me saying, child, and I wasn't a child anymore. You have the only weapon you need, my word. And that's it. And I knew it then. It was God. I immediately grabbed my Bible. And I can't remember the exact confirmation that I got, which scripture, but sure enough, I did. I believe it was trust in your heart. Trust in, trust in the Lord with all your heart. That one. It became one of my favorite scriptures. Those are supernatural things that happened to me that are my truth of my testimony in Jesus Christ that God, the Heavenly Father, <coughs> excuse me, the one true God is real. That Jesus Christ lived in the flesh he walked this earth preaching the gospel of love. He was crucified, hated, buried, and he rose again on the third day, which was witnessed. So therefore, I am a complete believer I think I always have been. I was just wayward. And as far as supernatural, I've also had supernatural things happen from darkness. And I don't want to focus on them or give any 
glory or credit to Satan, but I'm telling you, some of the things that he's done to me might freak a person out that they could lose it, but it doesn't shake me because my belief in God is so strong. I'm going to give you just one example. I was approaching my bed to get ready for bed and something that I could not see was patting my pillow. Now, it patted my pillow and I could see my pillow being depressed and I could hear the pat. That happened to me twice. Now, I didn't let it shake me. I got on my knees. I prayed to God. And that's that's it. No matter what the devil throws at you, God has something stronger for you. Don't forget to pray in the morning. And in these times, these evil times we're in, put on the full armor of God. And you will be able to withstand. I have. And I've had some pretty supernatural attacks. That's not even the scariest one that I just told you. I might give you that one in part two. But how I start my day is with prayer and reading a scripture. I continue with that throughout the day. The peace of God.